my inspiration. She's been brilliant. She's amazing, <coughs> gorgeous, wonderful. Maggie Hamlin, thank you. <laughs> Put you on the spot a bit, innit? <laughs> you may have noticed that Chris Nielsen is, attempt, is attempting my hairdo. Hey! <laughs> At the moment, he's only a small way there, but if he keeps on trying, we can be a double act. Well, I, I, I am literally seeing what I've heard about for quite a long while for the first time tonight. I think it's utterly amazing. I think. Tate Modern is put in the shade and fuck the Turner Prize. Chris single-handedly has brought art to Leyston in a really big way and it's fantastic. Fantastic. It's sort of this immaculate gallery and sort of the lunatic premises upstairs and Chris, one of the things about Chris is that he always does what I tell him. <laughs> if I have said to Chris once, less is more, I've said it a hundred times. And here we arrive in more and more and more and more. There's never any less. <laughs> but seriously, um, I think Chris is a hero of paintings. He puts... Uh, into his work, what a lot of us feel a lot of the time, whether it's madness, whether it's rage, whether it's happiness, whatever we're feeling, he manages to put it into paint in the real way. Otherwise, I wouldn't be such a champion of his that I am. I'm a champion of Chris's because he's a real painter and he paints about real feelings, real emotions. He doesn't paint pretty pictures. You might have noticed that going round. You know, he paints from the heart, and that's what matters. And that's why I believe in him. And the other thing about art uh, is that it can be quite useful. You know, quite, uh, quite often around here, we have a little damp patch on the wall that we don't want to call the builder in for. So all you've got to do is buy a painting <laughs> and hang it over the damp patch and it's far cheaper usually than having a builder in. So art can have its some um, practical uses as well as its civilising and spiritual uses. I mean, we, we spend a lot of time worrying about whether the broadband's going to work or whether we need a new fridge or blah, blah, blah. Well, art takes you somewhere else into a more important place. You know, life, death, the imagination, dreams, all those places. Art takes you into somewhere that is not to do with the everyday rubbish and far, far, far away from the dreaded B word. You can, that means Brexit, by the way. Um, <laughs> you know, you can go in, you look at any of these pictures and you're taken somewhere else. And that is the point of art. And when it's done with real feeling, as Chris's is, it's worth having. I, I think I must have about a dozen of your pictures around the house, Chris, in London and in Suffolk. And I look at them and they are life-affirming. They're life-affirming that something else goes on inside all of us that matters, that it has to do with the heart. And that's why I believe in him. And I've never been to such an extraordinary art experience, and I'll be sending everyone to Leyston from now on. Well done, Chris! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Aww.